StellarIdeas.com Painting with a Purpose This is part of a series of videos of the Plain Air Painting Exhibition called Hope From Robe to Riches. This exhibition tells the story of the journey of Mei Ling, a 19 year old Chinese woman who travelled from southern China to the goldfields of Victoria in Australia in 1857. Leaving Robe Merchant George Ormerod stood on his jetty and wondered how much more he could take. Mountainous piles of export goods including wool, wood, wattle bark and seal skins lay everywhere. A clamour of traders, sailors, deckhands and waterside workers surrounded him, plus rowboats and every other floating vessel known to man was moving in and out of the port. Sheep, cattle and horses in stalls waiting to ship out, and bullock drays lined every street for miles waiting to head inland. He walked up the hill towards the customs house, weaving through the endless queue of new arrivals. He met Captain Butler, the government resident in robe, at the door. Together they scanned the ocean of tents that extended in all directions. There was just nowhere to accommodate another soul. And now a woman had arrived, Mei Ling from Taishun. Some locals were angry. The Caledonian Inn had been appropriated to house this young lady and her clan elders. Better safe than sorry, George thought. Local ladies helping, as always, made sure Mei Ling was comfortable, and he'd finally found a seat for her on a safe bullet train heading for Panola. But Butler was worried. Robetown was at bursting point. Despite the rapid growth of business, buildings and infrastructure, food supplies and medical expertise were not equal to demand. Generosity and kindness held the two communities, miners and locals, together, but nerves were frayed and the police continually present. Like dam breakers, George and Captain Butler worked furiously to keep the flow of miners moving towards the gold fields. Mei Ling would leave tomorrow and she seemed well prepared for her journey. But anything could happen outside their borders. He prayed for her and wondered how, after all this, his little rogue town would survive in the long run. <laughs>